Alright, hello, and I'm going to show you how to make a hyperlink within your PowerPoint presentation. Alright, normally presentations, when you start them, this is my little demo one that I've started here, it starts out with, uh, you just have your main title slide, and then you have your presentation overview slide, and then you go through and you have slide one, and then you have slide two, and then that's the end. But sometimes you want to add more to the slideshow and you want to add some more control over what you're talking about. So one way to do that is to add hyperlinks within the slideshow. So we're going to leave our title slide just the way it is and then we're going to go to the overview slide. And what I'd like to do here is I would like to talk, I'd like to link to slide number one. So the way we do a hyperlink within a document is you highlight the text and then on the on the bar that says insert what we're going to do is we're going to insert a hyperlink and it's if you want to use the keyboard command it's control K um, for PCs and it's uh, command K for Macs so what we're going to do is we're going to click on hyperlink and then you get a little insert hyperlink box that pops up and on the side here you have a couple different options we can make a normal hyperlink that is usually associated with the web so we could actually put a web address in and link out from this presentation into um, if you wanted to do something on Google or if you wanted to link out to a website that showed the, an example of what you're talking about but in this case we're going to link within the document so we're going to click on the place in this document and then it gives you um, some options for within this document. You have first slide, last slide, next slide, previous slide. I tend not to use these because the slide that you link to might be different than when it changes. So this is only in, rela in relative position to the slide that you're linking from. So what I like to use are the slide titles. So in this case I'm going to link to slide number one and on the side it gives a preview. So this is good so we're going to do OK and then it turns blue. So on the next slide, or on the, I'm going to make another hyperlink here to slide number two, and we're going to go up here to insert the hyperlink. Again, this is in the insert path, or the insert ribbon, or whatever you want to call this in Microsoft. So we're going to do insert hyperlink, and it's already in the place in this document one, so we're going to click it to the uh, slide titles and go to slide number two and here's a picture of that so we know that we're linking from our that where the hyperlink is right now to this particular slide we're going to do OK so now we have two blue hyperlinks um, I, I believe you can change these if you hunt around enough within the themes uh, within the slide design you can change the color of the hyperlink but um, I'm not going to go over that for the purposes of this tutorial alright so now if we look on this at this slideshow we go from the beginning, so here's our first slide with my presentation, then we have our pr uh, presentation overview. So here's the link to slide number one, and here's the link to slide number two. So if we click here, we go to slide number two. But then here's the problem. We can't get back to the... there's no way to get back to that uh, overview page. So what we need to do is down here, we need to add a, a little control that puts a hyperlink back to the control page. So we're going to do that really quick. End this show. And then on this page, it, oh, it usually ends on, it shows the last page or last slide that you were on. So here we go. We're going to insert. And then I'm going to insert a text box. You could insert a picture. You can add a hyperlinks to really anything. But we're going to add a text box and we're going to put it down here at the bottom. And I'm going to call it intro slide. Actually, we'll call it overview slide. All right, so we have that down there. We're going to highlight it like we did the other hyperlinks that we added. We're going to go up here to insert and go to hyperlink. And again, I like to stick with the slide titles because the slide order might change, but you still want to keep your hyperlinks the same. So presentation overview gives a little preview for that. We're going to do OK. So now, if we did the slideshow from the beginning, here's our presentation overview slide, 
and then it's this the hyperlink's purple because we already went there but we're going to go there again so if we do slide number two we go to the picture of the dog and then we go down here to the overview slide that's going to link us back to the presentation overview all right so then what we need to do is take that presentation overview link that we did and copy it onto that first slide so that we have complete control within our presentation so we're going to go to slide number two we're going to take this and we're going to copy it we're going to go back over here and we're going to insert it I was doing command or control C for copy and control V for paste so now we have the slide the hyperlink control on all the slides so now if we go to, if we did the presentation one more time we would, we would be able to go through the we'd have complete control over what happened all right that's how to um, add hyperlinks and add control use them as control features within your PowerPoint presentation if you have any questions feel free to let me know